Hi there. Well, here we are, the amazing Sam Brown and myself, here to help you see how to put together your rain gauge measurement collector. Hopefully it'll be rain and not snow. Hopefully. <laughs> but if it is, that's okay. I think you guys should be able to handle it. We talked about it in class today that if you get something frozen, you can always microwave it. Not for very long, just a few seconds. You don't want to boil it. And then you can go ahead and, and measure it that way. Um, and if it's snow, then I would say you should measure the height of the snow first before you uh, melt it and figure out how much uh, actual uh, water you've got. Sound good? Sounds good. All right, so what's going to happen is Sam here is going to show you how to do this. I'm going to jump out of the way so that I don't mess anything up. So let's see what she has for us. Okay, to start your rain gauge, it's going to end up looking like this, but you need a two liter bottle and you're going to find the line where the label is at the top after you've taken the label off and then you're going to poke a hole in the bottle at that line and cut around the top. And then you'll have two halves. <clears throat> so you want to start with your bottom half. Your top will be over there. Make sure you keep your cap so that you will use it later. So now you need three to four rocks. I have my rocks here. And you're going to put those rocks in the bottom of your gauge. Okay, there's my rocks. Now we're going to pour water up to the line where the top of your rocks are. So I'm going to pour to right there because that's where the top of my rocks are. And that'll be your starting point for your gauge. So now you want to take your ruler and find your centimeter side and put the zero end of the centimeter side at the bottom of the water. You're going to take two rubber bands and go around and to hold your ruler in place. Now it is very common for your ruler to move at this point, so if it does, just go back and fix it so it's back to being at the level of your water. Now you want to take that top piece and put it in upside down, so like this, and just put it into the top. Now you want to take three to four paper clips, more if you want, but three to four is all you really need, and you're just going to paper clip the two pieces together. Like that. See the paper clips? Cool. Now you'll take that fun little cap and you'll just stick it in the center, and that'll be where you can test your pH from. So that's your finished ring gauge. Now that you have your finished rain gauge, you're all ready to go. Go collect some rain. That's not bad, you know. Uh, no, yeah. not bad at all. Man, you could probably get a, make a living doing this. <laughs> well, you know, if your mom ever wants to know how much rain you got over the summer in her garden, that, this would do it, right? This would do it. Okay, well, good luck, you guys, and I hope you can build something cool like this and that the experiment goes well and that we get precipitation. Fingers crossed. <laughs> all right, see ya.